So Donald Trump is lawyering up harder than ever before, and he's doing so for one reason and one reason only, because he fears justice and he fears accountability for his actions over the past few years and more. This is something that's been developing over the past couple months, but new information dropped yesterday that he hired more lawyers, a new high profile lawyer to help him deal with the fact that he's getting sued by two Capitol Hill police officers for the damages he caused to those people on January 6th, where he sicked his thugs on the Capitol. And those two police officers are suing him, but maybe 140 other officers could do the same in the coming weeks and months, if not longer. And so Donald Trump is hiring all of these lawyers in addition to the fact that he hired someone else to deal with his tax crimes in the Southern District of New York. That in Manhattan, he might face criminal charges. There's currently a grand jury basically operating under the fact that Donald Trump lied on his taxes, either decreasing his value to pay less taxes or increasing his value to get better loans. And so Donald Trump, a man who is a billionaire with a billionaire corporation who has all the lawyers he needs on staff is only hiring extra lawyers because he's terrified because he doesn't have the legal firepower he needs to avoid these lawsuits and potentially avoid jail time. Again, if you're someone like Trump, you only make these hires when you're scared and when you feel your own existing legal arsenal is not up to snuff. You don't make these hires just because of it. And as we know with Donald Trump, he is notoriously cheap. In fact, if I was these lawyers, I'd ask for all the money up front. But Donald Trump doesn't spend money unless Donald Trump absolutely positively feels he needs to spend money. And so that's what's happening here. He really does fear that he could go to jail and end up owing hundreds of millions of dollars in these lawsuits. Like, this is a man with his back to the wall. Again, there's some civil cases here that involve potentially hundreds of individual lawsuits, and there really is the sense that he could go to jail. And we haven't even talked about Georgia. Trump is being impaneled in a grand jury in Georgia over his interfering with the election there when he asked Raffensperger and he asked Kemp to basically try and find votes for him so he could beat Joe Biden while he was still president. And so all of these things really show that Trump is scared. And I have a lot of people tell me, and I don't think they're being unreasonable, that there's no way Trump is going to go to jail. There's no way someone as rich and powerful, a former president, is ever actually going to end up in an orange jumpsuit. And you know, you're probably right. But the fact of the matter is, Trump fears that potentiality right now. And that is telling. We have a former president of the United States at a time when other presidents would be basking in the limelight and basking in their retirement, fighting tooth and nail to avoid lawsuits and jail time. And Donald, you deserve nothing less.